Hi guys and welcome back to a new video where I will be having a quick look at this surprise update and a few things that you should definitely know about it. First of all, this update began in such a weird way because we did not get patch notes at all and apparently we will see the patch notes at some point in the future while we already got the chance to update our games. Also, everyone can basically claim the highest rank in B-class car as for now, the Lamborghini Revuelto just playing a single race on its special event. Also, we got a few interesting cars that definitely deserve our attention, but I will get into that later. So for now, let's begin with today's video. Okay, so now if we focus on the update new cars, we have the usual underdogs such as the Kitty MX Bow, the Maserati MC12 and the Kepler Motion, even though this last one has an insane acceleration despite being a low B-class car, which is quite curious to say at least. Uh, having a quick look at something a bit more interesting, we have the Jaguar XG Re9, which seems like it will be the only car I will spend a few tokens on in this update. And why, you may be wondering. Well, uh, just have a quick look. Don't say its acceleration is bad, because it is. We are talking about overall stats. And just look at that top speed, man. It's faster than many S-Class cars, and it's by so far the fastest car on A-Class. So definitely, it's one of my tokens. I may not max it, but definitely, I have to try to start up up to three or four stars if possible. But we will talk about that later. In S-Class, we will have the Frank Vento Sorpasso, which, uh, let's get real, is probably the ugliest car of the entire game. The, fir the front part is somewhat okay, but that back part is absolutely horrendous. Stats-wise, seems like a Terzo Millennio with better acceleration, but quite with Nitro, so definitely it's a no-go for me. And at last but not least, regarding these new update cars, we will have the 26 CCXR with almost 5,000 rank points. And let me tell you something, guys, this car, this car may kick the SCC Tuatara out of S-Class Elite event, but definitely the Tuatara is better in overall stats. And I love all the 26 cars, but this one looks pretty much like an overranked Sembo. Has good nitro efficiency, but top speed, uh, just look at that. It's definitely too low for a 5,000 points rank car, so pretty much the same at the acceleration. Hopefully the test drive will prove me wrong, because if this CCXR has good floaty drift and drifting capabilities, definitely it would be a card you should keep in mind for the future. But as for now, it doesn't seem to be that good at all. Aside from that, everyone has the chance to unlock the new Lamborghini Revuelto completely for free at the very first stage of its special event. And well, uh, definitely that was a quite good move from Gamelot's side, because even though some people will say it's useless to have a one-star car, well, yes, it is, but at least it gives you the access to the Elite B-Class uh, event, which, which is where you can get some tokens and that stuff. And that's definitely a good move from Gamelot, at least in my opinion. But guys, you should definitely be careful, especially if you are saving up tokens, because despite the Jaguar XG Re9 is definitely a car I would recommend to go for, especially for the clash on maps like Free Fall or Top Speed Oriented ones, I have the feeling that something huge is coming on the next update, and on this one there are many temptations to waste your tokens on, for example the Revuelto Special Event, the Grand Pixies that will appear, and maybe the comeback of a few good cars, but I will try to keep saving as many tokens as possible, and I will just try to waste on the Jaguar who let the Koenigsegg CCXR appears on a Grand Prix, of course. In that situation, I may spend a few more tokens on securing the K, but nothing is uh, safe for now, so I don't know. Talking a bit about the new Lamborghini Revuelto, I won't spend my tokens on it, since I have plenty of good options in B-Class like the F1 LM, which is faster and has better nitro efficiency than the Revuelto. I'm fully aware that the Revuelto has a really, really good acceleration, but still it does not convince me enough to fully max it. So I can't wait to see the new cars, performance and all the other events that Gamelot may have prepared for us on this surprise update, but for now it's your turn guys. Will you focus your resources into any of these new cars or will you keep saving for whatever the future brings to you? Let me know in the comment section, make sure to drop your like and I will see you really really soon as always with much more asphalt content. Goodbye guys!